The Proline Coffee Mill has several features that a discerning coffee drinker would love. This grinder has a set of large, commercial-style cutting burrs to grind coffee with precision. Being able to remove, clean, and replace these burrs when needed is just one great feature. When you see that your coffee grind has become inconsistent, or if the coffee grounds fall through very slowly, it's probably time to clean those grinding burrs. And here's how you do just that. Keep in mind that it's a rather messy job, so get a towel or two out first. Then unplug the grinder. Remove the bin and the hopper and empty the bin of any beans that might be hiding in there. And turn the faceplate screws to the left to remove them. Then remove the entire faceplate and set it aside. Now you can see the back of the cutting burr. You'll need to remove that burr, and if there's a lot of grounds packed around it, it can be a little tricky. I usually smack the back of the grinder and gently scrape the grinds from around the burr with something like a toothpick. Now be ready for the messy part. You'll find coffee grinds as well as some small beans can wedge themselves in the grinder. Take your time brushing away the grinds and use a wooden toothpick to clean the grooves of the cutting burr. Get everything cleaned up and ready to reassemble. But there's a trick to that. With the grinder lying on its back, drop the clean burr into the opening. To be sure that you have the burr in there correctly and completely, you need to rotate the burr until you see it fall into place. It seats itself, and when you press on the burr, there's a little bounce to it. Now you're ready to put the faceplate back on. Turn the screws at the same time so one side doesn't seat down before the other. If that happens, you'll find that the grinder can clog quickly. So now you have your grinder all cleaned up and ready to grind. But if after some time you feel you need to buy new burrs, just call KitchenAid Customer Service at 1-800-541-6390.